The president of the Wild Rose Constituency Association for Medicine Hat is facing somewhat of a backlash on social media tonight. This after comparing government action on gay straight alliances in the Alberta school system to some dark periods of Canadian history. In a Facebook post last week, Maureen Prince expressing support for progressive conservative leader Jason Kenney's stance on GSAs. Well, Kenney believes parents should be notified when their children join these clubs. Prince says those who disagree with Kenny need to look at history, asking when the government has done better than parents. She then talks about the residential school system and the forced sterilization of handicapped people as examples. Well, many comments on social media are describing her choice of words as insensitive, even cruel. And Leah Murray has been joining, following the story and joins me now in the studio. So Leah, what does Maureen Prince have to say about the post? Well, we reached out to Prince earlier today and did have some communication back and forth when we asked her to clarify her comments. She stopped communicating with us. We also reached out to MLA Drew Barnes for his thoughts on the matter. In a statement, Barnes said he believes every child has the right to a safe and caring learning environment. Further to that, he said, quote, some of the rhetoric currently brought to the debate is not helpful and lacks perspective. But he did not clarify what exactly that rhetoric is. Barnes went on to say he believes parents need to be respected as partners in ensuring a safe and secure school environment. And so Leah, what backlash are we seeing on social media in regards to this post? Some people who have spoken out against Prince's statement say they feel she's comparing the government policy allowing for the creation of GSAs to the travesties of the residential schools and forced sterilization. A number of people commented on her post saying it was inappropriate to use the events in the same statement. And Deputy Premier Sarah Hoffman addressed the matter in Edmonton before the sitting of the legislature today. She says juxtaposing the government's policies on GSA to such a dark time in Canada's history is not acceptable. To say that that is the same as residential schools where children were stripped from their culture, from their communities, often faced physical assault, sexual assault, loss of language and culture. I think it shows just how out of touch uh, some of the leaders within uh, the Wild Rose Party, including this Riding Association president, they are very out of touch. However, supporters say Prince was trying to highlight what government interference can lead to and not directly comparing the events. Again, we did reach out to Prince for a comment, but she has so far not provided any kind of statement. Michael? All right, Leah, thank you for this. Leah Murray reporting live in studio.